But I guess you learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> God, I love it. I love it. I love being, I love being the goddamn king of it all, you know? I love, I love just not knowing where it's going, you know? I love that. This could be something beautiful, or it could be something that ruins everything. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to lose you if it means having what I've been looking for. Cause I still haven't found what I'm looking for. No, no, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. decided to make this uh, a singing life because although my singing is poor my ideas are strong so I like to document them Africa or is it Franklin so the singing makes sense in the context that I'm working in. Even if I don't sing later, you'll thank me later, alligator. You'll be so happy to say you were there. While I was developing the show, sleeping neighbors, what a beautiful image to give me, Karen. I think someone can join my live as a guest here on TikTok, not on YouTube. I'm simulcasting. And I'm wondering how you're doing tonight. I had a nice talk earlier with a man from Zambia. It was an interesting conversation. I feel like we talked for 10 minutes. It was at least 10 minutes, don't you think so, guys? That was at least 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And it seemed like he was going to be my new best friend. But then at some point he just left me. Like everyone has in the past. People have left me. That's not true. I've never been left in my entire life. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just... I'm just uh, developing a, a, new, a new show. It's going to be an internet show. It's going to be a live internet show. Um, it'll be a monologue of sorts, I, I think. Kind of like a monologue, a comedy, a storytelling show. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to perform it live 
on uh, I'm going to perform it live on uh, on on YouTube and, and TikTok and all the time. Uh, I'd love to come back to Canada. I'm coming to Calgary to do a show. My my secret goal is you know that I hope I hope that at some point I just get so popular on the internet that I have enough fans in different parts of the world that it makes sense to go there to do something to perform. Uh, but in the in term, uh, I'm just developing kind of following, and I had the idea to make a, 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 a show here. Hi, Yakuts. So that's my idea. What do you think? I've had a few funny bits、uh, today. Some of it is, I think,、uh, let me lower the piano. Gosh darn it! You know what the problem is? Is that the piano is here. And... Sure, that's better, right? It's a bit sadder for me, you know. I really like that piano. Hi, Asaka. So basically,、uh, yeah, I'm here to. I'm here to develop a show that I'm going to、um, ultimately try and perform. Live. I'm sure people are doing that, right? Charlie Kaufman, hands down. Um. Gosh. I'm glad you can hear me now. So, I went to、uh, Energylandia tonight,、uh, today with my uh, with my uh, son, uh, who's five years old. Has anyone here been to Energylandia? Has, has anyone here been to Energylandia? At all, let me know. I'm curious to know if any of you here have been to Energylandia. I,、uh, I, I'd not been to a theme park as an adult. I have not been to a theme park as an adult. And when I say adult, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't mean like people in their twenties. People in their twenties are not adults. You become an adult when you turn thirty. Because at the age of thirty is the beginning of you realizing that you're a failure.、Um, and then you kind of go, "All right, shit, I better."、Um, you know, give up the.、Uh, I'm going to be a rock star dream. Hello, Zenon. I'm gonna give up the dream. And then you get to my age, and I'm a parent. I'm an old dad. I'm not like a crazy old dad, but I'm like a. I never went anywhere. I just stayed. So I was I was at this、uh, theme park today with my kid. Have you ever been to a a theme park with a five year old? Have you? It sucks. 
going to a theme park with a five-year-old is so boring. I got there, I was like, Look at all the roller coasters. But he's too fucking short to go on any of the roller coasters. He's too short. Which was awful. And so I asked him if he would let me go on some and just wait for me. And you know what that selfish shit did? He started crying. He started crying. And said, please don't, don't go, don't leave me, I'm scared. Which I know is bullshit because I've left him at home alone enough times to know that he's fine on his own. I give him the iPad, I don't think he notices that I leave, but there was once I was gone for 90 minutes, I came back, he was still head glued in that iPad. So I know that he's fine if I go on a roller coaster for four, four minutes. If I do something for me for a change, but no, he just wouldn't stop crying. And then there were other people around who were also like, who are also were like, the kid is crying. Don't, what are you doing? Don't, uh, don't leave the kid. He's your kid. And the kid is crying more. And they're like yelling at me. And I'm just like, who asked you? They don't know the context um um so i went anyways i went uh, on the ride and it was so fun i gotta tell you it was amazing it was a, an amazing ride and um when i came back the kid was hyperventilating and I know, I'm sure it was an act. I'm sure it was an act. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> sorry. I really love this bit. I can't help it. Oh my God. It just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> I don't know why, but the... Like jokes about parents behaving so badly with uh, with their children is so funny to me. I'm just going. <laughs> but seriously, <coughs> no, my kid's an asshole. Uh, we had to call. Um, I had to take him to the. Uh, there's a, a doctor on staff. At, uh, at Energylandia, which makes sense in case uh, something happened. I'm not sure if we could sue them if something did. Shit. I wish I would have known if I could sue them before I asked them to help my son. Because if we, if something even worse happened to him, like if I didn't try to calm down or take him to the doctor, there's probably a substantial amount of money we could have sued them for. But anyways, uh, lesson learned, right? I, uh, next time, I won't take my son to the, the, the doctor. Yeah, oh, the point was is that there was a doctor on, on site. And he was great. He dealt with a lot of hyperventilating children uh, before. Apparently, it's the number one thing he treats. Uh, my son uh, calmed down pretty quickly. She gave him uh, candy and uh, and uh, you know, and off we went, and he was fine, which I knew he would be, and he was all along. But he was just trying to make me feel bad for wanting uh, some me time. On the, on the roller coaster. So, uh, so somebody on Twitter, the thing that I appreciate about uh, YouTube is that people don't ask stupid things. I guess it's because people who are watching me on YouTube 
basically people who watch my videos anyways. Whereas on TikTok, you see like random strangers and you get a lot of anti-Semitism. So somebody just came in and asked me, are you controlling the world government? And the answer is yes, I, I am. I, I personally am contr- um, uh, controlling the world government. I don't know about other Jews, uh, if that that's what you mean. I'm assuming it's a Jewish thing. Or maybe you just uh, learned that it, it's me who controls uh, who controls the, the, the government uh, of the world. Which is cool. I really like controlling the government. It's, uh, it's not what I expected I would be doing in my, in my 40s. But I, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, I know that some of you are probably like, how did you get into that line of work? And uh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just really wanted to control the government, I think. And so now I do. Uh, oh, this guy, Dob, down. Oh, he's just coming at me. Ooh, with lots of anti Semitism. Gotta get, gotta get rid of it. Gotta get rid of it. World. No, no. World, the name of the world is okay. Michael, can you give me some good state contract? I'm a bit short on money. Would you some help from the NWO governor? Like the New World Order government? Is that what you mean? Uh, the New World Order. Um, I, yes. Uh, I can. What What do you do though? Before Before I uh, I give you a contract, I should probably know what I'd be giving you a contract in, because I uh, the only thing I know about you is that your name is Yakubos on YouTube, and on the form, I know they're going to ask me more questions like, "What's his last name?" Or what's... Hey, Adam, you're back. You were cooking. Kasha's here. Uh, trying to get my attention with weird questions. Why do people do that somehow? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm on YouTube uh, also. So I'm kind of trying to focus more on the YouTube camera. So I'm kind of missing what's happening on TikTok. I'm sorry, TikTok. Haraki. Schmuck. Hello, Frukling. Oh, Frukling, you were also on uh, TikTok. And now here you are on uh, YouTube. Do any of you... Um, do you all follow uh, my, my videos is my question. And I'm curious about the world. I'm curious to know more about the world. Better is to not touch the world at all, says Albert. Frukling says, yes, my first time catching you live. I don't do that many lives, to be honest. I don't really have the time. But, uh, and I don't like to do them when my family are around, because, or, or if I do, they have to have already gone to bed. So, so right now my wife is out of town. And my son, I got to sleep by 9.30, which for me was a miracle. And once he's asleep, he's out. So I came and did a live. But I didn't know that I would be able to do a live. But I, but I, I was. And so here I am live with you. Trying to develop some material for a new one person show I've decided to do. Um, I've decided to do it because 
Um, I've gotten really back into making theater, but I'm limited. I think I came to social media in the first place because I felt a bit limited by、uh, the amount of options that I had to to, to make theater, or or perhaps it's just that like I don't I want us to make th- more theater than I have the、uh, ability to. You know, in a way, I'm not even a kind of I'm not even I can find the opportunities to make theater, but. I can't just make my own show, cause nobody's going to uh, uh, program that. Just a show of me,、um, and so I'm making it for、uh, social media instead. Thanks, Zenon, for the congrats. Adam's not, as far as I know, he's not Krakow based. Adam is, I think Adam is in the UK. <laughs> Adam is in the UK, but you're coming back to Poland, right? For a bit. Have I been on Polish television before for some series or movies? And would you like to be, or do you prefer theater? Um. Thank you for the question.、Uh, I have been a little bit on TV and film. I have a little bit.、Um, I I'm not sure that it's about medium in a way for me. Like I think that. Let me let me put it to you this way, I would most of the film and television that I've done in my life has been stupid. It's just mostly been stupid. There's a lot of stupid film and television that gets made because of the economies of film and television, which means basically like a lot of film and television is lowbrow because you know they're they're going for the views. They determine the success of a thing based on the number of views, and most people. Don't want to watch something、uh, too intelligent, right? On television, that's not why they watch television. That's why they go to the theater or, or perhaps to the movies. But that's not why they go to television. Every now and again, something breaks through, like Succession. But it's still, you know, it's fucking, it's, it's drama, 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 drama. So,、um, do I prefer the theater? I prefer the theater because you know I get to make a lot of really. I've gotten to make a lot of really interesting theater. I've made a lot of theater in my life.、Uh, a lot of theater. Ooh, I've been a part of so much theater being made. I'm just a kind of, you know, it's just like what I've done. Hundreds of shows I've been a part of、uh, making, not necessarily directly, but producing. I just I produced eight. I produced how many fucking just so many festivals. I produced a festival. Anyways, I. I have done so much theater. I've become a bit of an expert、uh, somehow. It's my it's my field of expertise. Now sometimes people will not like what I make, which is fine, but it's just become my my field. It's become my field of expertise.、Uh, but I would not do a piece of theater that I didn't like. But I will、uh, television because.、Um, Because of the money. Because of the money, basically, you make a lot of money per day in film and television. Minimum two thousand zloty. Minimum two thousand zloty per day.、Uh, but I'm usually getting over three. So.、Uh, <laughs> but that's not how much you make in. In、uh, the theater, so I love the money, but yeah, I, if I got to be a part of making some cool、uh, film and television, then yeah, it would be awesome. But it's I haven't, and it's hard to be a part of like really cool film and television. It's really hard. 
and I'd like to, I'm trying to make my own movies and television because I have faith in myself, in my own taste. I know I can make good things, but uh, no one's going to, I, I have to make my own thing first before other people uh, give me the attention that I need. Ugh, it's just stupid. I, I do sometimes wonder what would have happened if I had just started with trying to make film and television when I was younger instead of theater. Because I have this very oh, a weird uh, skill. Now it's my own goddamn fault. Anyways, that's my answer. Uh, making festivals in his career. You can't be... You can be in my festival, but you have to apply. Uh, and the applications are in September. They go in September, and we make the decisions in February. February, March. So we're totally programmed for this year, but when we announce the open calls for next year, you can... Hey, Kai, not, not Kai. I was wondering... Why? Are you a bot? I, I, I don't text anyone uh, until they send me a video of them saying my name. That's it. Uh, nothing weird, gross, creepy. I just don't text anybody until they do that because uh, there's too many bots. So Natka, if you want to talk to me, you've got to do that first and then we can, then I'm happy to chat with you. So I know you're not a bot. When I'm in Poland, I live in Germany. I would love to watch you perform at the theater. This is why I thought perhaps you did something on TV for me to enjoy. I had a small role in Smajowski's film Vesela. Very small though. I did a small, well, I did a 12 episode arc on Nafspulne, which you've probably heard of. It's a telenovela. Uh, and I have a, I have a role in uh, the upcoming Patrick Vega film called Putin. Um, and other than that, I was almost on a lot of different shows. Uh, and the one that's probably the most painful is I was uh, I was up for a role, a, a nice role in 1670. And it was between me and uh, a guy just who speaks Polish fluently uh, and has just been in a ton of stuff <coughs> on TV here or, or me. I didn't get it, sadly. You know, it's a big damn hit. So, anyways, I, I'm just not... I, I continue to audition for things. And, uh, but I, I... I know that the success will come once I start to make more television. I've already started to find it a little bit through the social media stuff. I'm starting to get a bit more attention. Uh, which is my goal. Michael Hahn language, just one and some Polish. Uh, and if you want to come to Poland, in Poznan, I'll be performing my show Altaheim May 8th, 9th, 10th, 12th. And in May 24th, 25th, and 26th, I'll be performing Zanuzhenia, which is my show in Katowice. The JCC Krakow or the JCC Warsaw? How many did I say what? Well, because I mostly live in Krakow, although the JCC Warsaw is a place that I've spent some time in, but I'm mostly in Krakow. I would be at the JCC Warsaw uh, if I, I lived in Warsaw. When I'm in Warsaw, I, I do go by. But sadly, I'm in Krakow. But uh, Patricia Dawowa is a friend of mine. And I, I think it's super cool that she's running that place. 
I like her a lot. A lot. Really a lot. And I wholeheartedly support what she's doing. She's the kind of person, and that's the kind of place where if they were like, Michael, we need your help for something, I'd be like, yep, you got it. What do you need? What can I do for you? Do you work there or do you just go there? What's your story? Well, the JCC in Warsaw holds a lot of events for the community. It's, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of events there. And people come out. Uh, they come out. <laughs> people, like, they're cool. They're fun events. They're really nice social events. A big part of it is because the JCC in Warsaw, architecturally, is really great for events. And that's so important about that space. It's so important about that space. If they ever leave, I would hope that it has just a larger space, a larger, more inviting, more open space, because, uh, yeah, that's what I love so much about it. And it's fun to go to events there. The JCC in Krakow I don't spend time in, sadly. Uh, you do everything there. Do you work there? I don't know if this is interesting for you, but Piotr Piotr on YouTube might be interesting to you. He's a historian that fights Polish parite narrative, including Antisem, but he also loves theater. Oh, that's cool. Uh, never heard of him. And you've not ever seen me in there? Greetings, Martin. So lots more people can enjoy your perspective. Tofil, is your name Tofil? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Tofil? If you, I'd be curious. Uh, I would be coming more often, maybe, if more people, if I had a reason. I'd like to find a reason to come to war somewhere. Yeah, I played in Lucky Number Slevin. Did you see that movie? This is one of the reasons that some film and TV is, is useful because then people get impressed by the things that you performed in. People get really impressed by that stuff. In terms of what I actually do, which I think is exponentially more impressive, no one understands it, so they don't, they're not impressed by it. Uh, but you know, people are impressed by the fact that I was in Lucky Number 11. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened, Zaylor? You all right? You all right, my brother? Are you all right, my brother? I was talking to Patricia about bringing a show to uh, Warsaw. Uh, <clears throat> so the people that I worked with were, uh, the person I worked with the most was Josh Hartnett on that film. I also got to work with Bruce Willis, Lucy Liu, and uh, uh, so the story was that there are there's a, a Jewish gang leader and a black gang leader. The Jewish gang leader is played by Ben Kingsley, and the black gang leader uh, gang leader is Morgan Freeman. But neither of them ever leave their home, and my character doesn't go into either of their homes. So, I played Ben Kingsley's son, and I never got to meet him. It was very sad. Uh, but I get I play Ben Kingsley's son in that film who gets assassinated. So it's a really cool, it's like an important plot point role. And so, you know, but uh, Bruce Willis was... Uh, Mieszko is asking a question. 
When your gut feeling told you to move to Poland years ago, how does it feel now? Does this place feel close to your heart? Does it feel like being at home in Krakow? It's a beautiful city. Hmm. So this is gonna sound sort of sentimental, but I think that I never really felt like I felt like I was at home anywhere. Except uh, I felt like my being with my wife was at home. I did feel that. And so it didn't really matter where we were, uh, where I was in the world, I think. Uh, it's been 10 years. We just had our nine year anniversary. Uh, God, no, it's been 11 years we've been together, which is crazy. 11 years. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure that I feel at home in any city in the world, to be honest. I don't know. I wouldn't say I feel at home in Poland. No, I don't think I do. I think I'm trying to figure out how to feel at home in Poland. Krakow is a beautiful city. And it's cool that it's my city, but I don't feel at home here, really. But that's okay. I feel at home with my family. I don't know, I can't think of a place in the world where I feel at home. Maybe I would feel at home in Israel. Maybe I would feel at home there, but I don't speak Hebrew, so. But I might feel at home there. Thank you for that great question. do that kind of stuff. Also, Ride at the Living takes place at the exact same time as my festival, Festival. If anyone's interested, I run a festival, uh, a Jewish arts organization with my wife called Festival. Festival.com, F-E-S-T-I-V-A-L-T.com. You can take a look at it. Uh, if anyone's really interested in uh, me or in supporting me, um, and when I say support, I do my mean financially. Uh, um, or maybe to be more specific, support my social media reality. Uh, I put a lot of time and energy into it. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to turn it into something uh, financially viable. And... Uh, Hello, do you speak English? Yeah, I speak English. I only speak English here. Are we playing a match? I don't even normally do that, but I can do that if you like. You want to do a match? Okay, she wants to do one of these matches. I don't know how these works. I'm on TikTok now. I'm on a TikTok break, you guys. I'm on TikTok. I'm talking to Anya. We are doing a match. From where you are from? I live in Poland, but I'm from Canada. Oh, Canada. It's super. And you? I live in Poland, near Katowice. Oh, you live in Katowice. Okay, near Katowice. I have a show on in Katowice at Teatr Śląski. Yeah, are you an actor? I'm an actor and a writer. Oh, that's cool, super. And you, what do you do? Tomorrow I go for for first day on my new job. Oh, wow, gratulations. And what is the new job? So, so I will uh, do sweets, sweets. Wow, are you gonna just be selling them or making them? Making them. Making sweets in like a bakery or like swadice? Mm, swadice, the, the, the small. Uh, like candy. Something. You're gonna be making candy. You're a candy maker. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will uh, uh, learn. Oh, I will learn. So you're gonna learn how to make a candy maker. Is this a job? Be- that you were, are you very excited to start this new job or, or are you not sure? Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, half to half. Half to half. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, I'm also uh, I'm also streaming live on YouTube at the same time, and I just want to tell people on YouTube that I'm on TikTok on my phone over here, and uh, on TikTok I'm having a conversation with Anya. Hello. Hi. Um, and I I don't know why I'm simulcasting, but uh, somehow it's bringing me pleasure and joy. And Anya, tomorrow is starting a new job. Isn't that amazing? Tomorrow's Anya's first day of the job. All right, I just wanted to show, uh, I think people are not happy that I'm abandoning them for TikTok because they're all leaving. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. How long you are in Poland? I've been in Poland for eight, over eight years. Really? Yeah, eight years. You have- Wife? Do you have wife here? I have a wife, yes. I have a wife and a child. A Polish wife? A Polish wife, of course. Of course. That's nice. No, of course. Um, I think it's very common. Mm-hmm. No, say, say. It's very common for... Uh, I've met a lot of, 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 of Western men who have moved to Poland and have Polish wives. It's interesting. It's a real, it's a, it's a really um, big part of, of Polish, like migrant Polish expat society. It's interesting. Nice, nice love story. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of men are, a lot of men like moving here for, for the, for their women. Uh, Adam, I have Polish citizenship. Yeah, I have Polish and and Canadian citizen. I'm a I'm a Do you dual. Have some 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 uh, free friends. <laughs> free friends or three friends. Free for me. Do I have some friends? Well, uh, who hasn't got a girlfriend or wife? <laughs> oh, you're looking for a you're looking for a girlfriend or a wife. Um, me? No. Sorry, I'm a husband, husband, husband. Sorry, <laughs> you're looking for a boyfriend. You're looking to be a girlfriend or a wife. Do I have any free friends? Let me think. I have one. I do. I do have one. He's nice. He's Irish. He's Irish. He does have. He's got children with another woman. Uh, I don't know how you'd feel about that. He's a nice guy. A smart guy. Small. Sorry. Big children. Uh, he have all, all small. They're small. they're still in school, but they're not young. Like they're, mm, like uh, I think they're like becoming teenagers. If that makes sense, you know. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so. Um. Yeah, and he lives in Krakow. I would be happy to. I would be happy to. I would happy be happy to connect you two. Because I think that he's looking for uh, a girlfriend too. I think I'm not a close friend of his, but he's the only like foreign. Uh, I mean, most of my friends. I have Polish friends. Most of my Polish friends are women than men. And most of my male friends are um, most of my male friends are are expats. I gotta be honest. So this is the only one I got. Ian is his name, or Owen. Owen is his name. Owen. Owen. He's got a nice. Uh, he's got a nice. He's not for you. You wanna know? I'll explain why. No, it's for you, Anya. But. There's someone else on here that I know who's asking. She's getting jealous, and she says, "Hook me up with him." Uh, and I was like, "No, this one's for Anya." Uh, uh, Write his uh, name. Uh, sure. Will you follow me? You should send me a message on send me a message on TikTok. Uh, send me a message on TikTok, and uh, I'll connect and I'll connect you to him. Okay. How, can I ask you a question? Uh, how, can I, may I ask your age? Because I know how old he is. I just want to know if he's too old for you. 
35? Okay, okay. He's probably around uh, between 40. He's, a, he's at least 10 years older than you. Uh, but, but if that's okay with you, but I don't know. I'll, 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 uh, so write me on TikTok and I'll send it and I'll, I'll connect the two okay. of you. Okay. Okay. I will, I will, I will remember. Sounds good. Uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I don't know how to turn this off, but I have to go back to YouTube, <laughs> uh -huh. but I don't want to be rude. Okay. But I don't know how to end this. Do you know how? Mm, the button? How end? Where? Which button? Yeah, how to end it? Where's the button to to yeah. to leave the how chat? To live? To leave the no to leave the chat with you. I leave the chat with me. Yeah. I, leave if, if it's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Write me. Okay. I know. Well, this woman. Well, here's the other. Here's the thing. The people are going. I didn't expect to hear a matrimony. Here's the. Here's the thing about uh, TikTok that I didn't know. YouTube people. So TikTok is a hookup. Is like a real hookup uh, app. It's a hookup app. Uh, a lot of people. I mean, not only, but there are a lot of people who. I, who try to hook up on TikTok. I've been asked often if I'm single. I've never been asked that on Instagram or, or YouTube. Never once, but on TikTok frequently. And then I always say no, and then the person just sort of moves on. But there's a lot of people looking uh, for... Uh, there's a lot of people looking on... Uh, on <coughs> I'm going back and forth. I, I'm on YouTube... Uh, because the YouTubers are a bit older, <laughs> I'm like, it's 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 easier to talk to them. My home is here. Yeah, thanks for the answer. Okay, that's a good answer. I suppose it's the price to pay for being an artistic soul like myself. Home's where the heart is, I guess. Family is everything. Good luck to Anya. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. Yes, yeah, home is where the heart is. I didn't feel at home in, in Canada. I didn't feel at home. Like, I didn't feel at home in Toronto, which is why it was pretty easy to leave and exciting to leave, to be honest. I was like, whoa, crazy. I'm going to move to Poland. That's cool. But it was really like a measured decision. I didn't just sort of drop everything and left. It took me a, a few years to work into that decision. So, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to come back. So basically, I wanted to come on tonight to try and generate some material uh, for a show. Uh, and the material that I know that I like really a lot is the Taking My Son, Taking My Selfish Son to Energy Landia. I thought that was very funny. I don't know if anyone was listening. Basically, uh, yeah, I, I did. A, I have a bit about taking my son to Energy Landia that I did earlier that I thought was funny. I'm trying to create a one-man show. I should have probably put that in the. Can I change the um, topic on YouTube after I've already? Let's see. Edit. Ooh. Working on material for a uh, one-man. Uh, on my show. And be an audience for me as I develop material for what I hope to become an online performance. Save. Oh, Energy Landia was. Ugh. Hold on. I don't know which answer to give you because I've been giving a funny answer that I think is ridiculous that I'm going to use for my show. The real answer, Energy Landia was awesome. So fun. Actually, I loved it. My son had such a good time. I love how excited he gets uh, when we're there. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> my favorite part, oh. It breaks my heart. It was so sweet. There, 
there was there's a game called the Lucky Duckling. And basically you get, you know, no matter what you you win a prize. No matter what you do, you win a prize. And my son uh, he wanted to play it. He wants to play all the games. And every time I explain to him, they cost me money. They cost me money to do it. I'd rather just buy you a toy. And he's like, no, but you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. I'm like, shut up. You're five. I understand you stupid fucking kid. Anyways, the point is that I let him uh, play this because I knew he was going to get a prize out of it. And, uh, oh no, the video froze. No. Can you guys see me over here? Anyways. Uh, he he won a prize, and he didn't realize that everyone wins a prize. Because he's stupid. And uh, he got, the, he got the, the, the animal. He was so excited. He hugged it. He was like, Mom, he's going to be so proud of me. Uh, which... You know, it was so sweet. I wrote my wife. I was like, we, we, we are raising an idiot. But, you know, he's, he's good looking. So hopefully he'll, he'll be able to, uh, you know, find a wife who can support him. Because he won't be able to support himself because he's, he's pretty stupid. Um, yeah. Laila Tov. Good, good night. I think it was fine. That's good. <laughs> I like when I'm going off on a bit and people don't know that I'm doing a bit. And <laughs> like, he's five. Just let him be five. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just screwing around. Of course. Yeah, that was a that was just a joke. Hey Patrick, what's up? I'm I'm generating material um for a one person show that I'm working on and uh it's funny cuz I don't really tell people when I'm going to be doing it cuz I don't necessarily know when I'm going to be doing it. So this whole thing is a kind of improvisation. And and the reason so it's going to go dark for a second. Just wait. Stay with me. Stay with me. I we've gone too far to lose you now. Don't you fucking die on me. Don't you fucking die on me. If we're gonna die okay, good, we're fine. Oh, I just have to plug my phone in somewhere else. Cause it's about to die. And I don't want that to die either. Good night, much. I got worried that my son is sleeping. He does speak English, but I keep trying to get him to, uh, I think he's woken up. He has. He's woken up. Hi. Can I 
past things. I have to end this stream.